Dan Chichester. Well, the committee, a little over two years ago, started designing a program for 2014 to celebrate 350 years of the existence of this county. And um, we, it was a great committee. We had some, some, some wonderful times laughing and talking about what needed to be done. And I think we've come up with a pretty good program. Well, I served for 40 years, and people might think uh, anybody who does that is a little uh, short of a full deck, but um, I really ran the first time in 1971. I'd just come out of the Army about a year prior to that time. My father was Commonwealth's attorney, and I thought I would serve for one term, maybe. Well, it turned out to be 10 terms, and um, it really... Uh, I was motivated by the fact that in practicing law, I like to be in the courtroom. But number two, I thought I could make a difference in making the county a little bit safer by, uh, by making it tough on criminals, to make it uncomfortable for a, crim for a, crime, for a person to commit a crime in Stafford County. Um, and I thought I could make it safe for people to uh, have a family, raise their children, go to school, etc. Well, I've lived here since I was born in 1942, December 21st. Unfortunately, I share my birthday. I'll go through eternity sharing my birthday with Jane Fonda, but anyway. <laughs> moving along, um, I live at Glen Kion, which is a home that came into my family in 1825. And um, it has been added to and subtracted from, and I'm hoping that I'm a good custodian uh, for this generation. I, tell, I have three sons. I tell my sons that, um, boys, uh, I'm the uh, custodian for this generation, but I'm just passing through. And it'll be up to them to keep the uh, property going. It's, um, I have at this point put 187 acres of it in a conservation easement, including the cemetery, which uh, uh, has some very notable people. Well, you can start with Judge R.C. Elman Cure, who bought the property in 1825. He was on the Virginia Supreme Court and was the president, now that's called the chief justice, but he was president from somewhere, he went on the court about 1850 and, and died in 1882, but he was president of the court for most of that time, except for between 1865 and 1870, as a result of some unpleasantness down in Virginia, why we didn't, uh, he wasn't on the court at all. Other than that, he was a chief judge. Um, he's buried there. The uh, John Conway, Man, Man, uh, John Mancure Conway is buried there. He was the clerk of the court for about 40 years. Um, and then my grandfather is uh, Judge R.H.L. Chichester. He was on the Virginia Supreme Court from 18, 1925 to 1930. And then you have Eugenia Washington, who is the founder of the Daughters of the American Revolution. Uh, she's D.A.R. number one. Um, my Uncle Dan is there. My father is there. My father was uh, Commonwealth's attorney for 32 years. My uncle was in the House of Delegates. My great-grandfather, who was Daniel McCarty Chichester as well, he was uh, in the House of Delegates and uh, was a judge in Fairfax. But he was also a soldier. Um, he was wounded once and uh, captured twice during the Civil War, during which time his wife died, his sister died, his uh, brother was killed. He, only he and his uh, mother survived the Civil War. Well, when I was born in Stafford County, there was probably only about 10,000 people here. When I became Commonwealth's attorney, it's just a little over 20,000 people. 
Now it's 135,000 people. That's in and of itself is quite a change. But it's brought quite a lot of diversity, which is a positive thing. It's positive and negative, depending upon uh, uh, who arrives. But I think it's a positive thing. And um, it, it, you have a much more of a cultural things around. Uh, you have Belmont, for example. Uh, you have a lot of things uh, associated with the college that uh, that are really nice that you didn't have when I was being raised and stuff. In fact, I don't know, I think I was a teenager before I got beyond the borders of Stafford County. I think mother took me to Richmond occasionally, but that was about it. <laughs>